and it's a big moment in the season. You've just received your bees and you're going to interact with them for the first time. The most common way to receive bees is in what we call a nook box. So it's five frames, a mated queen, and 10,000 bees. And at first that could be, you know, a bit of a surprising number. But today I'll show you that you have to work really calmly and really slowly. And that way the bees will stay calm and you'll slowly get used to their presence. Let me show you how you do this. First step, set up your nook box parallel to your box one day before you do do the transfer. You just want to take out six frames, five of these we won't use right now, so you can put them aside and they'll be used later in the season. And the sixth frame we'll put aside because we'll use this one at the very end. Now, use your smoker, relax, and smoke the entrance of the nook box. I'm now going to pry open this. Now you want to use the end part of your hive tool. Let me show you on a regular frame. You want to come and get the bottom section of the top part of the frame. And you just want to pry it just like this on each side. And that way it's going to lift off the frame and it's going to be easier to take out. And you put a bit of smoke as needed. And you go in. So you just lift one side with the next and separate these and then with your thumb and your index you go in and take out this frame and remember you got to take this out very slowly and stay calm we're having fun this is a fun process oh yeah now put this in the first position of your regular hive again you drop it in very very slowly wasn't so difficult. We'll do the same thing for all five frames and we'll keep exactly the same position as what we have in the nook box. Again, stay slow. They're beautiful. Now this frame is a little particular. You'll notice there's the queen cage here. This is where the queen was transported before she got into this hive. Make sure it's empty, and if it is, you can remove it and discard it. Take it nice and slowly. Now we'll continue the process, keeping exactly the same order. And I can't say it enough, stay really calm when you do this. Bees do feel stress, so if you stay relaxed, they'll be nice and chill and you can work with them like this. Okay, so we transferred the five frames. Now we're gonna put the sixth frame in. The reason why we keep an empty frame at the end is because it's not built up, it's just easier to slide in. Now we go through and we equal out the frames to make sure they're nice and even. Now it's normal that you'll find a lot of bees left in the box. What we have to do is take it over and give it two little shakes so the bees will get back into the box. And you might find a few dead bees in there. It's normal, sadly because bees only have a 30 day lifespan, so some might have died in the transport. Now make sure you don't bang any of the components. Bees just don't like the strong vibrations that does. Now there's still a few bees left in the box. What we need to do is we just put it on the side like this and leave it like that for two days. And the bees that are left are gonna smell the pheromones of the queen and rejoin the colony slowly. We're pretty much done. We can close up the hive nice and smoothly. And now we're going to wait seven days for the bees to get used to the new home. And next time we open up the hive is at the first spring inspection is to make sure the transfer was nice and smooth.